Hey everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem. I want to start this video off with a quick little disclaimer, if you will. If this sounds any different, it's because we finally moved into our new apartment. I also mentioned this on the Final Fantasy Tactics series already, but not everyone who's watching this is also watching the other series. Um, if I'm sounding a little bit echoey, let me know. I still have to hang up like some posters and maybe like like some wall scrolls or something here just to reduce the echo. The new apartment is nice, like you should follow me on Twitter if you want to see stuff like that. But for now let's dive in here. Also remove the cursor here, not sure whether you can see that. A guiding wind, last time we defeated the crow lagoose, they were attacking us and we were helped by the dragon lagoose to get our ship ready again. Ike, I'm here to report the results from the last battle. Oh, there we are. New allies, Sophie and Jill. Oh, that's right, Sophie, we also got this, this, like this boy thief. We suffered no casualties or repairable harm. Everyone was at their best. That concludes my report, excuse me. You are excused, Soren. Let's look at some support things here. Ah, uh, you could talk to Titania. You could talk to Oscar. You and Mia. Okay, let's level up our supports here. Do you have a moment, Titania? Ike, how can I help you? Remember what we talked about the other day? About when you met my father? Um, yeah, that. I know you don't want to talk about it, so I won't force you or anything. It's not like I don't want to, it's just, it's still hard to talk about my past still. You deserve to know as much about your father as possible. Alright, I'll tell you. Great. When I was a Crimean knight, I entered an officer exchange program and was sent to Gallia, where your father was. On my first day, they held a joint training session in the Royal Hall. That's where I saw Commander Grail's might for the first time. He took, on a wave, he took on wave after wave of knights and defeated them like they were children. His swordsmanship was brilliant. The other knights barely had time to lift their weapons before Commander Grail had them on the ground. He was the mightiest warrior I had ever seen. My body trembled at the thought of it. Whoa. <laughs> wow. I tried to cross swords with him, but he was so far out of my league. Ha, it was laughable. But I asked him to train me and he agreed. After that, whenever we had a spare hour, we would meet and spar. We soon grew close, and after a few weeks he invited me to his home. That's when I saw you. Me? Yes, you were sleeping in your mother's arms and she was smiling. You were adorable. The commander looked at you with such kind eyes, I saw a different person than the man who wielded the sword. Hmm, I see. That's interesting. What's a little bit weird is that she talks about swordsmanship, but she doesn't wield a sword, and Grail wielded an axe, right? So that's a little bit strange game mechanic wise. Let's see what's going on between Oscar and Kieran here. Hi Kieran, how are you? What the Oscar, how I love that name. Don't give me such pleasant greetings, I care not for them. What did I do now? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten our second year of enlistment, the year we completed horsemanship. It was a final race to the end year. My beloved horse and I were flawless, but you beat us by the smallest of margins. Huh? Or are you talking about that race you challenged me to? Yeah, that was fun, but I thought the distance between us was at least three lengths. Ha, oh, liar, deceitful, lying, squinty coward. It was the very moment I marked you as my arch rival. Don't pretend to not care. Wow, I had no idea. But why? I must know why you left the Crimean Knight without a word of explanation. I devoted myself to training with my horse and worked day and night so I could best my arch rival. And thanks to my extreme devotion, I didn't realize you were gone until six months later. Delinquent. Renager. Wait a second, Kieran, how is that my fault? That's great. It's like one really dense guy and one guy who's just a hot headed idiot. See what the girls are up to here. Ah, today is a good day. I'm feeling lucky. Maybe I'll meet someone to duel. Maybe my true arch rival. Is arch rival a real world? Ah, you scared me. You're sneaking up behind me like that. You're a crafty one. Yeah, sorry, please let me pass. Huh? Oh, sure. 
Excuse me. So, do you want to duel? At dawn, perhaps? I love dueling at dawn. Oh, never mind. It wouldn't be much of a challenge. You're looking a bit sickly. Sorry, I'm just feeling weak. She looks so fragile. Maybe I should watch her back. Best to make sure nothing bad happens to her. Oh well. Back to sword practice. That was kind of cute. Let's see, info-wise. Maybe we get the new item here. Commander, how are you? Staring at the sea, I see. I know you, you're George, right? George with a J. You make weapons for us. No, George buys used wear. I'm his twin brother. Well, mostly his twin. He has blonde hair, you see. My name is Daniel. Just remember that I have brown hair and that George has blonde. And you'll be fine. Brown hair Daniel and weapons, blonde hair George and items. I think I remember that. Fantastic. Say, can I ask you a quick question? You're a battle expert, right? You fought a lot? Enough, yeah. What is it? Picture this. Let's say there are two ships and suppose there are planks connecting the ships at three different points. Alright, I'm picturing it. Now then, soldiers from one ship are about to attack the other one. Imagine that the defending side has fewer soldiers. If they want to mount a solid defense, what should they do? Seems clear enough to me. Position the soldiers with the best defense on the planks. Soldiers like cavaliers and knights. I see, so you would hold the enemy at bay by using your strongest allies to block the primary closing points. Then you'd want to have your long range attackers line up behind the tougher units bearing the bridges. I'm talking about anyone with javelins, axes or magic. You'd be able to do a lot of damage without much risk. Sounds like a good plan, but it seems rough on the soldiers defending the bridges. You'd want to heal them often obviously, but maybe there's a way to reduce how much damage they take. It's a stretch, but what if I don't have them attack at all? That way they won't run the risk of getting any counter attacks. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. I think that's what we did before, right? Like, I remember putting Titania like in a castle entrance. Great, thanks. That gave me some good ideas. Ideas for what? Oh, my brother and I have been playing a war game. I've lost four times in a row. A war game? We'll let you join in if you bring some parchment and a quill. Come see us anytime if you're curious. See you later. Maybe I shouldn't have been so serious with him. Okay, let's manage our units a little bit here. Award EXP. Hike is already level 20 and it doesn't seem like he can advance further. Maybe there's a story moment when he will like increase his rank, but at first I actually want to um, I think we need to go on outfit. We go to the convoy. We're going all the way to the right here. Magic item increases to use a slug. Luck is is apparently associated with a lot of stats. I tried reading up on things on the wiki. Like it inflicts a, uh, it affects a hit chance and your dodge chance and I think also your critical hit chance. Justice increases luck, okay. See here the arm scroll. Just put that in there. Secret book, a magic item that increases the user's skill. Also put that in there, I think. Bear guard. Lagoose stone. Uh, what was this again? An item that allows a lagoose to remain in animal form. Okay. Available gemstone can be sold for a high price. Okay. Just watch me forgetting to sell that one. Also should probably just put her coin in there. Coins are apparently completely useless in this game. In Radiant Dawn they can be used for something, but here it's just more like a joke item apparently. Ah, there's a Master Seal. And yeah, I should have waited with Oscar to like level him to level 20 because I think they get the skill at level 20 before I ranked him up to a better class. Let's put the seraph rope and the arm scroll in here. Okay, let's see. 
Um, if I go with Ike now, and I go with Take and I take the Master Seal. How do you use things again? I think I can go to equip or something. I can't use this, right? Nope. Yeah, he doesn't have the use thing. Okay, yeah, then he must reach like his expert class during a story moment or something, I guess. And then who should get some EXP? X Knight would be nice. Reverence level 10. You're level 14. That would also be great actually to award you some EXP. See how much EXP we have to award here actually. Rome. Bring you up to level 15. Wow, this <laughs> is terrible, Rome. Why are you like this? Bring you up to level 16. Okay, that's way better. Thank you. And where's Rolf? You're only level 4, huh? I will give you the rest of the EXP. I think I also really need to level him up actually, because he's our only archer, really. Like our only pure archer at least. And skill-wise... You don't have any skill, you don't have any skill. Oscar's Miracle, that's right. Vantage. It's also what the skill stat means. Skill, the skill stat affects like when some of the skills trigger, like it affects the percent chance to trigger them. Like Fire, Emblem, Fire Emblem can be really complicated like that. Mm, who needs higher luck? You have a luck of 8. Maybe I will give L Mia more luck. Let's see, we go to the con convoy and we take something. This is for more skill. This is for more luck. The arm scrolls, I will just... I will just hold them for I think because it's an item that increases the weapon level of the currently equipped weapon. So... Right now, for example, if you look at Mia, her weapon level right now is D. But it's always one level, you know what I mean? Like, not right now it would bring her up to C, but if she was at B already, it could also bring her up to A. And I think there's S too, so I'd rather do that. Um, maybe I should also take a Seraph rope and give it to her, because her HP is so low. Okay, let's use... The yeah, Ashera icon here. 10 luck, nice. Now she's up to 30 HP. Yeah, the Seraphrog is plus 7 HP, I remember. And skill. Who even has a good skill? Like, you have Miracle, you have Vantage. Adapt. You also have Shade. Mist also has Miracle. What's Blossom, by the way? Uh, let me just click here. Friends unit fewer experience points but enhances growth over time. Oh, I see. Okay. On t here on the right, uh, on the left, you can see there's something called Build. I think that's the unit's weight or something. I don't know, like some Fire Emblem systems are so weird sometimes. And thieves can apparently also steal items from enemies. His build is 11. Her build is 8. His build is 18. Yeah, I think this just associated with their weight. His build is 15, something like that. Yeah, see, his build is 4. It's like a unit's weight. Then let's see who will get the skill book. Maybe it's also Mia actually. 
Um, yeah, why not, right? Please don't die on me, Mia. Is there anything else I want you to have? Probably not. The skill is 16 right now, and now it's 18. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's save that baby here right now. It's a lot of setup, I know. And... Does anyone have weapons they can't use here right now? I don't think so. You have the L win, but you can just keep holding on to that, I think. Oh yeah, another thing I should do... Before I forget... Uh, maybe I'll make a lance for him? You have an axe? Yeah, I think I'll make a lance for Brome, actually. This is something we have to remember to do, because... You can only do this once in every chapter, so if you miss out on it, you really miss out. I think we'll just hit the Iron Lance again. Oh no, wait. It's not here. We have to go to... Ah, the Forge. Of course. Select the weapon, we have a Lance. Then I'll take an Iron one, please. How strong do we want it to be? The answer, as strong as possible. 12 attack. Give me that nice hit chance. Bring that weight down a little bit. And bring it down to 3, that's nice. Should I increase his crit? I don't really think Brom needs that, he's not that good a critter anyway. You want to change the weapon name? Yes. Um... Let's just name it Brome Lance, maybe? Nice. Change the color? Oh yeah, this changes the color of the handle, that's right, it's a little bit weird. Because black is just brown, basically. Let's give you a blue one here. Okay, give this weapon to this person, yes. And then... Just throw the normal Iron Lance in there. Perfect. Okay, let's leave the base now. Ike, there's someone claiming to be an envoy from the Theocracy of Benyon. He's been asking if the Princess of Crimea is aboard. What do you want to do? Benyon envoy? How did she know about the ship? Hmm, perhaps she had word from King Gallia. On the other hand, this is Spanion we're speaking of. I imagine it has spies in every corner of the continent. Or maybe she's just lying? Perhaps one of those spies is the source of her information. So we shouldn't be surprised that she knows about Prin Princess Alincia, right? No. But it's extremely unusual for Binion to send an envoy to meet a princess whom they do not even acknowledge. What do you mean? It's a complicated matter. You see, the envoy is essentially an extension of the Empress herself. Both Crimea and Dane were once part of Banyan. Both nations have only recently splintered from the Theocracy. I can't fathom why the Empress would extend the courtesy of an envoy to a nation she must consider somewhat beneath her. She must be planning something. Beneath her? That is somewhat harsh, don't you think? Harsh perhaps, but it's true. Clothing... It in sweet words will not hide its bitterness, will it? Certainly even I would question the tactfulness of your words. I will try to be more diplomatic. Ike Nazir, you've no need to scold Sorin. His words are just that. They do me no harm. I'm glad to hear the princess, but he should mind his manners. That's exactly why you got killed on the battlefield, Sorin. Deciding how we ought to treat... With this envoy is a more pressing issue. Princess, will you meet her and hear her message? I believe I must. We gain nothing by refusing to see her. Let us meet with the envoy. Tenif. Princess Elincia of Crimea, I presume? Yes. It's an honor to meet you. My name is Tenif. I am Deputy Commanding Officer of Binion's Holy Guard. 
must ask. What would Binion want me uh, want of me that she would send her holy guard to greet me? The apostle has learned of you, Princess Alincia, and she has come here to meet with you personally. The duty falls upon me to take you to her now. The apostle? Am I to meet? Surely the apostle has better things to do than... Will you accompany me? I suppose that I... We are the princess's escorts and we will be coming with her, I hope you understand. Of course. And yes, I will go with you, thank you. Bad news ma'am, we sighted Lagus near the apostle's position. Birdman, crows most likely. Hmm, we've seen that kind before, they fancy themselves pirates without a ship. But they are thieves, plain and simple. Commander Sikran is with the Apostle, and it will take more than a few winged scavengers to get past her. Let's remain calm. I... Actually, I'm afraid we aren't quite sure where the Apostle is. What? They've kidnapped the Apostle? No, no. I... From what the Commander said, the Apostle grew impatient and had another of her more... willful moments. I asked at the docks, and sure enough, one of the long hor... One of the longshoremen, I, I read it at long horsemen, I don't know why. <laughs> One of the longshoremen heard her order the ship to set sail without us. What? Where were her attendants? What was she doing without her guard? Why can she never just stay put? I've told her time and time again that the seaports here are rampant with pirates and crow fox. Right, where is she now? The wind is poor today, so we think. Her ship should not be too far from us. I came here as quickly as I could. Understood, we'll move immediately. Excuse me, but is something wrong? Your Highness, I must apologize, but an urgent matter has arisen, and I must attend to it immediately. I will return for you later, wait my return. What was that all about? Hmm, judging from her expression, I'd say something has happened to the person she's meant to be protecting. Say, do you think the ship over there is involved? The envoy is flying in that direction. If so, then the Pegasus Knight's fears have already been realized. They're under attack. It's the ravens they spoke of, isn't it? Ike, why don't we go lend him a hand? Are you feeling alright, Soren? It's not like you to offer help to anyone. It's a great opportunity to put the Empress in our debt. We'd be fools to pass that up, wouldn't we? I should have known you'd have an angle. What do you want to do, Titania? I don't approve of Soren's motivations, but I agree that we should help. Well, then that's what we'll do. Will you be a right on your own, Princess? You're doing the right thing, I would not dream of stopping you. I know those pirates are no match for his strength. Give them... give them a sound crashing. <laughs> you start to sound like one of us, aren't you? Alright, then we'd better go. Oh, look at that. It's three planks connecting two ships. What a surprise. <laughs> Just how not George, but Daniel said. Uh, no matter how many we defeat, there are more waiting to attack. And not just those ravens of Kilvas. Either, they are bear too. What, are they, what do they all want here? Need a little help? You, aren't you Princess Crimea's escort? Yes, the princess ordered us to come to your aid. May we join in the fray? It would be appreciated. We'll keep the ravens at bay. In the interim, why don't you go ahead and move on to that ship? The big vessel is ours. I'm not sure who the small one belongs to. There are human soldiers aboard, but if they're in this part of the sea, they must be pirates. Cut them down. Right, we'll take care of them. Where on earth is the holy guard? Between those crows and the pirates, we're outnumbered. It's only a matter of time before we're overwhelmed. I will fight too. You're one of the passengers from House Damiel, aren't you? I can't permit someone of your stature to throw yourself into harm's way. I was once a knight of Banyan, and I'll beat for only a short while. I won't get in your way. No, I can't. We must defend the Apostle, right? We do not have the luxury of choosing how to do so. Come, we must get ready. The enemy is coming. You're right. 
We need every able fighter. Accept my apologies and thank you for your help. Look at this, it's Gatry. I was wondering, like, who's the blue guy? Lady Astrid, allow me to serve as your shield. Gatry, I'm so sorry that I've gotten you involved in this. Oh, please, it's nothing, I'm fine. Before I was hired as a, your bodyguard, I was a top notch mercenary. I can handle this many opponents all by myself. This is nothing. Is that so? Your confidence is impressive, to say the least. <laughs> well, trust me, my confidence is backed with my blade. I'm ready to fight. So are we. Oh no, there are more of them, we're doomed. No, don't panic, we must protect the Apostle no matter what. Listen up, pirate scum. You may outnumber us, but we will not yield an inch. Wait, wait, don't get confused, we're here to help you, we're your reinforcements. The deputy commander of the Holy Guard asked us to help drive the enemy from the ship. Oh, Commander Tanner sent you? We're saved! The Apostle has taken refuge in the cabin below decks. Until the Holy Guard arrives, we need you to defend the entrance to the ship's cabins. Got it, weapons ready everyone! Okay, great, let's view the map for us. But those are the enemies, okay. Oh, and this is also an enemy? They're so close already. Are there any special enemies I have to look out for? Here's Norris. Saw that guy before, I think. Anyone else with a special face? Doesn't look like it. There are two chests here. And there are also two chests here, okay. Who is the key for those chests though? So you don't. Does anyone have a key? Oh, here's two more chests actually. There's a lot of loot to be gained. You have a longbow. Would love to get that off of you. Some fire, a hammer, a hand axe. I wish there was a quick way to see what somebody drops. Doesn't really look like there is anyone with a key, so maybe we need to bring a thief. Okay then. Uh, Titania first. I think that's a good idea actually. Let's reposition some units. Maybe I'll bring Chrome like right here. Oscar, you go here. Mordecai is not ready to transform, but she will be ready pretty soon. Zihark, I think it's okay. Rolf. Okay, who do we take out to bring in our thief? Maybe Zihark. Um, let's see. Choose our units. The question is, do we bring Sofa or do we bring Volke? Maybe we'll bring him. He's only a level 1 thief. Maybe I'll actually bring Volke here. Yeah, yeah, he also has the shade ability, right? Shade makes it so it causes enemy to attack the other units first. And then Volke, um, I think I'll just switch you here and you go like here. Then Jill can be like right there, I think. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Um, the conditions are just defend, I think. There's six in the other army, there's 23 foes. Let's see here, conditions. Defend for 10 terms, okay. Or, and with, with terms, I mean turns. Yeah, this should be a simple fight. Let's keep them off the bridges, I suppose. Okay, let's fight. Okay, she's ready to roll here. Titania. There are a lot of enemies, man, like hot damn. Iron Lance, Iron Ball, Iron Lance. Here's some allies. 
love that Gatry is here, by the way. I think Titania itself just comes in here. Okay, so this guy's the one with an iron ball. This is the guy with an iron lance. Let's get rid of... Which one should we take out first? Maybe I'll get rid of this guy first here. Oh yes. <laughs> what a way to start off the battle with a critical hit. Nice. Perfect. Um, do you want to go anywhere else here? Would have been nice to go here. We can't really do that sadly. Maybe I can just step here. Oscar? You could actually step here. You could also go here and attack with a bow, but that's not really that advantageous. I think you'll just make it here for now. Just equip the short spear for now, just in case anyone attacks. And then left way, I think we'll just bring you over to one side. She's so quick. Love her animation. And Kiran, I think we'll bring you over to the other side here. Ike. Let's go here for now. <laughs> Broom can't go that far, but I want to put him on one of the bridges if at all possible. Now Jill, she could actually go here. I don't know how good that is. I think for now I will just put it right there maybe. Or maybe like even like outside of the ship like right here. Because I'm afraid of the bow users you know. And Valke, we also want you to get up in there to get some chests I think. Rolf. I'm smelling some opportunities for EXP here. And then last but not least Mordecai. Perfect. Let's see what's happening here. Tell me, Walker. Are my soldiers proving useful? King Kilvas. What? Aren't you happy to see me? Ah, look at this mess. I paid you good money to help me outmaneuver everyone else. And catch the Crimean princess's ship first. Everything seemed to be going exactly as we planned. But now we're being attacked by a squad of Pegasus knights. We are flying no flags. We've stripped our armor of any crests. They should have no clue who we are. Why are they attacking us? Didn't you know? It is a banyan ship you're attacking. What? That's a banyan ship? It was your featherbrained lackey who told us that Princess Crimea was aboard that vessel. I call it a miscommunication, one of those unfortunate misunderstandings that seem to happen now and again. Are oh, you deceitful? King Kilvers, I wouldn't be surprised if you'd planned this treachery from the start. Such unkind words, you wound me. I would never intentionally lie to you and as proof I bring good news. I have without unshakable authority that the ship that just sailed up alongside Banyan's carries the Crimean princess. Oh, but unless we can break through the Banyan's ranks, there's nothing we can do. Would you care for some assistance? And what would it cost me this time? You learn quickly, my friend. Let's see, you'd be receiving my own royal assistance, so double, uh no, triple rates. Ludicrous, so much gold, where would I? I suppose I could defer payment until later, of course it does bring up the question of interest. Leave my sight. I wouldn't seek your aid if the world were burning down around me. Very well. We've no more to discuss. Call me if you change your mind. I'll find a nice perch and enjoy the show. Curse you, you're no better than your feral cousins. But they're just gonna look from out here, okay. I have a feeling that soldier's going to be in trouble here. No, nice miss. Sadly, 
Ah, okay. I was about to say sadly not a miss from that unit, but there was also a miss here, so that's good. Oh, wow. They already killed her? Okay, good night, Astrid. I wanted to live more freely, grandmother. Son of a bitch. I bet she was recruitable. Okay, we need to position some guys on those bridges. Go on, stab them. Oh, he also has a javelin. Nice. I'm a little angry that they already killed Astrid here. We'll never know her story, you know. There are so many units on the field, it's actually a little bit like brain overload, man. Damn, Gatry is still as good as I remember him being. No damage. Finally, time for the player phase. Okay, we have to do two things. We have to station our guys on the bridges and at the same time get rid of those guys here. Ah, you can't quite make it there. Titania can make it to this bridge or to this bridge. Okay, let's just attack from here. Maybe I don't attack. I think this is what they were telling me before, right? They just wait here. It's also a little bit stupid of me to not have brought a healer. Can I talk to Gatry here? I can. I think I need to do that. Gatry! Well, if it isn't Ike, good to see you. You're looking well, my boy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see it. I've been worried sick about how the Grail Mercenaries held up after I left. Did you ever recover? We managed just fine. Uh, what are you doing here anyway? Me? Oh, I'm on a vital mission. Absolutely critical I am. You see, these men keep attacking the ship and I'm to continue driving them back. I see. Are you working for the Banyan Apostle? No, no. My employer is far more charming. Is that so? From the sound of it, it must be a young lady. Aye, after a fashion, judging by the looks of things, you must be on Banyan's side, yes? I certainly hope so. I'd hate to have s to slay you after all we've been through. No, you're right. We're here to defend the Apostle. Well, that's a relief. There's nothing more awkward than having to kill a friend because of his poor taste and employers, I tell you. Still, I guess that's the hazard of life as a mercenary. It's good to see you, Ike. Let's finish this together. I'm with you, Gatry. Okay, so we don't get to control him. That's sad. Little disappointed. Okay, this guy also has a javelin. If only this guy wasn't here. Kiran, you can actually move up to this guy. Okay, I will probably do that. Let's attack with the AQX. Yeah, it might be a real problem that we didn't bring a healer. Like, the more I think about it, the more worried I get here. Let's just take out a few of those guys here. Okay, perfect, Kieran. You just wait here. Now we have to take out this guy up there somehow. Oh, Leffe can still not make it all the way there. There are some Lugus coming here. I think I will put her here. Volke, can you make it to a chest? Yes, perfect. We got a killer bow, okay. Nice. Talking about killer bow, we need to get rid of this guy, but he's kind of being barricaded here. See, Brom, I will move you here. Then maybe I just attack the bow guy. This would do 12 damage if it hit, so it better hit. Do it, Brom. Nice. Also, no damage. Uh, this still doesn't get rid of this guy, though. 
This guy has 5 HP left. Man, it's a difficult decision, like whom do we move where? How far can Mia move? She can move all the way up to him, okay. So I move Rolf here and I'll attack. Rolf's little bow here. Nice, this should give him a level up too. And then I'll move Mia up to guard him a little bit. Let's see. Well, it's not the greatest level up, but some defense and HP is always reassuring. Okay, then Mia. What item do you have equipped right now? Mia's sword looks perfect, actually. Let's move Mordecai up in here. If I shove you. Can you move further? No, you can still just move like this, okay. I see. Let's wait here. There's, there's no chest in our ship, right? Not that I'm missing anything? Yeah, okay. He has a javelin and 30 HP. Let's see, I could move here or here. Maybe I'll move here. Sadly, only have the steel lance on her. Maybe I should have given her an iron lance. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ah, yes, so now you could theoretically fly away, but I actually don't want to go here because of that archer. Maybe I'll step here. And then you go like right there. No, maybe you go right there. Give him a little bit of the brotherhood taste. Slowly make, making my way to the bridge. Nice miss, son. Step. Okay, perfect. And now pray nobody dies next turn. Ah, yes, you see, now I can make my way here. Everything exactly as planned. Yeah, I think I'll step right there. Oh, he's just going for Ike, huh? Okay. Nice miss. Here comes a shot from the longbow. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, nothing too tragic though. It would be nice if we could keep some of those soldiers alive. Okay, also create another miss here. Ah, this guy has a hand axe. Maybe I should have equipped a short spear on him. Yeah, but now comes a guy from close range. Let's see how he fares here. Oh, that was not bad. Okay, I hate that the sword guy comes in here. The sword versus axe and all that. Steel Lance vs. Steel Axe. Nice try, son. Get absolutely slammed. Nice. Titania is still so good, I'm surprised. Now oh, the Lagoos also just straight up coming in here. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm surprised they're not attacking my units here. That seems way more sensible from their side. Yeah, we have to watch our HP here. Oh, this is a magic user, right? Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> See how that goes. Oh, only two damage. Okay, why was I even worried here? Good night, son. Maybe it wasn't the smartest move to come in at close range here against Satania. Oh, you are going to defend here. Okay. I want to put more Mordecai there, but that works for me. No, oh, thank you. They're actually taking some decisions off of my hands here. So I can take some turns to heal, it seems. Here comes Catry. Bam. Oh no. He missed. Okay, Rolf, maybe you can attack that soldier right there. Get some more EXP from that. Very nice. We need to foster my boy. That was great. Um, let's see, Volke. Oh, you have to move all the way around here, yeah, I see. Um, Titania, you could even advance a little bit. I cannot talk to get rid of Titania, right? Oh, I can actually, okay. Don't know if I should though. Don't want to leave ourselves open on that side, really. We can only shove her here. It's because this guy is in the way. Yeah, it's, it's so weird when the friendly units are getting in your way. I could, I could put Ike here, that's okay. Then what are, are you equipped with? The, the steel sword? Hmm. Is that the right choice? Maybe. I really want to see what she says when she's talking to Gatry here. Gatry, is that you? Well, I'll be. This you. Oh, Titania. It's been such a long time. How have you been? Busy, of course. The mercenary life is a busy one. Have you been doing well since you left us? You know, imagine this. There's like a big skirmish on a ship. People are screaming and dying. And they're like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just having a little chat on the battlefield. Yes, in fact, I'm on a very serious mission right now. Can't afford to lose, a life hangs in the balance. My, I've never seen you so serious before. Whoever your new employee is, he must be quite special, or would it be safe in saying she? Hmm, you know me too well, but I do love the work she gives me. I'm so happy, I don't know what to do. Well, it's nice seeing you again. You too, good luck, Gatry. Okay, this didn't really do anything, but it's a nice little character moment there. Eh? Well, let's move Brom. Maybe behind this Lagoose guy. We could also just try to march in here. Let's attack with the Brom Lance. He does 0 times 2 damage to me. Music to my ears. Now perish. Yeah, great hit. What about the Lagoose King up there, by the way? Like, are they just going to hang back there, really? Can't even check them out. And I also can't check to the left here, okay. I should probably also get rid of this guy right there. Yeah, that should do it. I don't like having these mobile guys around here on the battlefield because I'm afraid that one soldier, wait, I'm going to show it in a second here, that one soldier is going to move off the place maybe and then the Lagoose comes and then we just lost, you know what I mean? That would be aggravating. Just attack you maybe with a fire. I only does 8. L Thunder does 12. Sounds good. She always looks so dramatic. Bam. Great, also a big amount of EXP there actually. 
only resistance up, huh? Okay. That sucked, man. Okay, who else needs to move up here? I think I'll move Mia up a little bit. Maybe not this far, but like here. And Valke, I will move you here. You're an interesting case. There are archers here. This guy is also an archer and there's another archer here. So that's a little bit like, what are we gonna do? Maybe we'll just move her like here right now. Actually, I would like it to still be close enough to do something. I'll just move her here. Mordecai is also about to go off, I think, here. Can just wait. Killing edge, steel ball, fire, her hammer. Here I'm just advance a little bit, take a vulnerary. Then just wait over here. Who hasn't had a chance to go it? Oh yeah, you! Let's equip the short spear on you. Then chuck one of those bad boys. And then we just sit and watch what happens. Okay, he's attacking first, very smart move. Making us use a little bit of durability here. Now this looks like the longbow guy, I think. Yeah, we can't really do anything against him because longbows has have a further reach than normal bows or magic or something like that. They have like one square more. Oh, and this guy is going to come here. Okay. Smart dodging, man. Too bad you missed. I'm happy with that though. Okay, another sword guy coming in. I would really love to get a double hit or like critical hit off here. And okay, let's see what this guy does. And <laughs> does like no damage almost. Okay, yeah, not that bad. And this guy actually stayed there, so I'm content. Oh no. Now he moved, okay. Okay, nice one. Whittling them down. Man, those NPC soldiers are really helpful, actually. Remind me to bring a healer next time. Here comes Gatry. Okay, very good. Shouldn't get too cocky though, you never know what's still coming, you know? Uh, let's just take the chest here. Got a Lagoose Axe, okay. It's probably just an, an axe that's really good against Lagoose. I would guess. Just put her here for now. Okay, man, this this situation is turning into a little bit of a clusterfuck. Also, I can't really do anything here because Gatry's in the way now. So let's at first push through here. This is our brotherhood again. Step. Perfect. Oh, also level up for him. That's gonna be huge. Please. Stats. Yes. Look at that. Lucky level up. And then we can just move it like one further ahead, maybe. Actually, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll just keep you here. And then left, eh? How are you doing point wise actually? You still have 10 points, okay. Take care of this joker right there. Okay, 
You know, I'm strongly expecting them to send more Lagoos after us here. Because so far it's only been two of them, but I'm like, oh, that seems too easy so far. Like we had such a big advantage, you know. Mordecai is also absolutely going to pop off. Should I just smite this guy? Maybe I just, I just chop him here. Oop. Okay, here. If I push through here, I can maybe come through with Titania. I could at least attack and then make my way back. This would do 18 damage here, yeah, like this would totally obliterate him. Provided I hit. And I hit, okay. Perfect. Man, we are going to have a strong cavalry, I think. I've, I think I'm going to get Kieran to level 20 and then I'm going to rank him up. Seems like the smarter thing to do. Okay, now we come in here with Titania. You can actually use the Steel Lance, it's better than the... Oh no, it's not better than the Hand Axe, what am I thinking? Axes are good against Spears. Got my weapon triangle all messed up there. Okay, this guy is gone, thank you. Could even like advance a little bit further here. The question is whether I even want that. I have a lot of ranged guys here. Maybe I'll even back up a little bit. I can bring Brome over here. I could also bring him over here, but I think here's maybe a little bit better. Our mage can probably even just stay here. Gonna put Mia right here. It's a little bit of a backup and then maybe maybe she just comes like either here or here. Maybe Yeah, maybe she just stays here. Let's just end her turn quickly. Anyone I haven't moved yet? Well, I can't really do anything, so... Where's the chess key, by the way? I thought somebody still has one. I think maybe it's Titania herself who has it. Yeah, she has two chess keys, actually. Okay, she can come up here and unlock two of those. That's great, actually. Let's see what the enemy does. Ah, they're killing that soldier. Yep, too bad. Wow, this guy will get done in though. It doesn't seem like they have anti, uh, any anti-Lagoose weapons. Wow, she was angry, man. Goodbye, hammer guy. He's healing himself a little bit. Oh, he's just diving in there, okay. A yeah, nice miss. Finally, get reopened it up here. Perfect. Yeah, there are more lagoons. Okay. I thought so. Oh, yes. Now we're ready to rumble, man. Okay, wh what do we do here? Um. You can come all the way up here and thrash one of those guys. You should probably just straight up do that. So we kill him in one hit apparently. Yep. Okay, hey, very nice. We're totally thrashing them, man. I'm still sad about losing Astrid there, but I'm not really sure what I could have done. To prevent it. Um, you're kind of a weird position, Valky, because you can't quite make it over there. You could attack this guy. 
Yeah, the guy with a steel ball, okay. We have a big advantage over him, but he has crit potential. With that, we would also have a big crit potential, actually, okay. Uh, let's try that then. Hope I'm not being too cocky here. Okay, no crit from us, no crit from them. I can live with that. Lefe, don't think I'm gonna move you this turn anywhere. Like, I think I can move Titania here, take the chest, speed wing. That's nice. And then you just wait here. I think that's okay. Kieran. Just come here, use another vulnerary. You can buy them at the shop, so it shouldn't sweat it here. Better than being like critted and dying or something like that, you never know. Okay, Valky, you just move over to the next chest. Like a professional. Where are the Lagoos? They came in from this side, okay. Something to be mindful of. Put her here. Rolf, for now you go right there. Okay, who else? Jill, I think you'll just stay here for now. I can actually walk up to this guy. Uh, should I attack with a steel sword? Regal Salt 10 times 2, Armor Slayer 11, Lagoo Slayer 12 times 2. Maybe I should actually forge a sword for him or something. Uh, you've come this far? You've ruined my plans and killed my men. By rights, the princess should have been long dead by now. What we agreed to do was to protect the cabin. But I can accomplish that mission if I crush you now. Well, I didn't really crush you now, but you know what I mean. I think she'll just wait in the back here. Who hasn't moved yet? Uh, you have moved, you have moved. All of you moved. Oh. Yeah, Brom. I was like, where did I put Brom? And it's like, oh, he's right here. Okay. Those humans take themselves far too seriously. It's almost as though being obstinate is a way of life for them. They let their foolish pride stand in the way, and what do they get in the end? A swift and stupid death. Now I'm getting terribly bored merely watching their foolishness. Uh, nestling, I can sense you're up to no good again. Stop calling me Nestling, really. How many times must I tell you that, Nyaluchi? To me, you will always be Nestling. Nestling? You can tell me as many times as you like, but I can't stop. You may be king now, but in my eyes you will ever be my little Nestling with actual stuck to your tail feathers. My curses, said that old fool. Forget it. Hey, you there. Yes, sir. We should take advantage of the confusion of battle to help ourselves to the cargo. These humans seem interested only in fighting their fellow men. If they can't be bothered to defend their treasure, I think it's fair to say they've lost their claim to it. Right you are, sir. Hmm. Fight. Fight till you drop, ground-bound humans. We killers will be sharpening our black beaks in the meat. Ah, so maybe they have some chess keys or something. You want to fight? Okay, very good. We're still alive. Every time somebody has a killing edge or something like that, it's 
a big reason for me to get nervous. Yeah, just shoot me, man. I've seen worse. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, they're coming closer. He must be headed for the chest, right? Are you just going to steal my EXP here? Blast! All my plans are falling apart. I'll cut you all down. Great miss, man. Yeah, let's check out the Lagoose real quick. You only have a beak, you only have a beak. Can they open the chests? A little bit afraid of that. It's my chest, man. My treasure. We got an elf fire. Okay, that's great. Nathaniel, let's open a treasure chest here. Got occult. Looks like a skill to me. I think Leffe, you come back here. You're going to be this transforming soon. This guy still has 13 HP. Iron Ball would be 11 times 2. Perfect. Shoot him, Oscar. I think it's the first time we're using his ball, maybe. Nice. I like the rank up system that it allows you to get a second weapon. It's pretty cool. Also, it makes it so nobody's playing the same game, you know what I mean? This guy has 13 HP still. If I attack with you. Wow, he would just try to do 10 times 2 to me, huh? Okay. Tenius here. Ah, oh, Rolf, I'm a little bit afraid for you here. Move you back. I'll move Mia in here. Let's just finish him off with Ike here, I think. Provided there's no misses in that fight. A curse crows. He ruined all of my plants. Nice. <laughs> Got the longbow. I'll send the longbow to convoy for now. Okay guys, this is where I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Next time we'll pick up here again. This episode is getting so long again. Uh, thank you for your support. I'll see you next time. For now, have a nice day. And bye-bye.